this one's going to be all about uh, adding, you know, public keys and all that. And there's some uh, troubles you might run into, like some errors. So, uh, to get this screencast, you, you have to actually watch uh, my old screencast on bash aliases. And it'll make a lot of sense. So if you don't you don't know how to do that, then you have to watch that first. Or else uh, this one will not make sense to you. So there you go. Watch that shit first. So here we go. I have in my bash aliases here. Um, first, I'm going to start with these uh, one down here. Okay. And you see how I have it um, set up to key 1, 2, and 3, and 4, up to 7, right? And it's pulling from different servers. Uh, so the first one is from Ubuntu. The second one, you know, SKS and blah 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 on to uh, the end here so this one is uh, the fast way to add uh, keys uh, really quick and let me show you uh, what is this useful for so we'll, we'll put that down so that's your um, bash rc uh, script right there okay so let's say you, you're here and um, you add this line your uh, ppa line and it doesn't work okay i mean the key doesn't work but you have your um, repositories in there uh, so what you can do with this uh, really quick is use the, the bash aliases and you see uh, the last um, thing here like 56911 here that is the key okay now the easy way to do to copy this because there's a stupid link here copy from over here it's the same thing but um, you know just copy up to that number uh, number five there and copy that and what you can do there is um, um, open your terminal. See here, terminal. And let me put this down the bottom. And now you just type in, um, you know, your your hotkey or your, your alias, and paste that in. See, that's all you really got to do. And hit enter. It will find the key really quick right there. Dig that right. Uh, let's say. So that's one way to do it. And then you know you update. And you'll have all your stuff. Uh, there's no errors. So this is a you know example one. If you have the page already, uh, and you just copy the key. Example two is um, let me give you an example two. Let's say I'll delete a key. All right. Let me go ahead here and delete a key first. Uh, it can be whatever. Let's see here. All right, so I have the key here. Let me uh, remove that, right? And now, if I update, it will give me an error of the key. Show you. Okay, so you see how they have an error here, GPT error, because we deleted the key. So what you have to do here is uh, really simple. Um, we just copy this 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 thing that they gave us. All right, let's copy that. Let me copy this. And we use the same thing. What is it? Uh, our uh, aliases, right? Key two. I like using that server. That's why. And you paste in that line. I mean, the uh, the code that they gave us uh, up here, right? This code right here. Just paste it here, and, and that's it. You just you're gonna find the key. And there it adds the key again. Now you update it again. It will have no error. So that's a quick way to do it. Uh, if you have um, you know one that gives you an error and you just have to just paste that in and you have the key you don't have to go look for the stupid page or anything like that you don't even need this page uh, no more see so another one is um, is this let me show you this is the new one um, I put this as auto key 2 and this is the whole line here basically this is good for is if you have a lot of keys missing Okay, a lot of errors, not just one. So let me simulate that by deleting a few. Right here. So let me go to authentication, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete a couple. Okay. So let me see here. Delete that. Delete. Uh, I guess this. Delete uh, chromium, right? And um, okay, three is enough. Okay. So let's say we update it now. And this time we should see, um, you know, three. Look at this. See? One, two, and three. Now, 
you know you can do it one by one but that takes a long time uh, so what you have to do is uh, with this one it scans all the one that you're missing and it goes and uh, gets it in one step so all you gotta do is type auto key 2 and this time it's just gonna go in there and it's gonna look for what the hell you're missing and it's gonna get it see you see what it's doing right there it's getting the keys uh, it, this could take a uh, a little bit or a while but see it's really fast right there so it's all done here you have all three of them there and we didn't even have to go to find the PPA where we got it before it's already in here so now we update it it will give us no error um, because you know the script that's what it does so there you go you have um, the single way to do it um, the automatic way to do it and uh, the other way is if you're on the page so that's three ways uh, that you can get the PPA key I mean uh, was it the public key I mean um, so there you go that's some situations that you might run into and certainly that is very helpful if you have different servers to, to get it from and mix that with a uh, bash aliases uh, with this I'll post all this in the side and uh, you, you can just copy it if you like and uh, use it okay so that's it oh yeah and another thing is um, for this one uh, the auto key 2 here uh, you can change the server so you can copy the same thing again and uh, use different servers like I did so you see how it says um, key servers uh, sub keys uh, it was a pgp.net here you can replace that with uh, any of these servers that I have here and make you know more if you like uh, so that is it for um, you know public keys and all that sh bullshit with the terminal there